In your homework answers, I noticed that a lot of you flag number 20B with a star or a question mark. So this is going to explain that particular problem. So to start, let's look at number 14 since it sets this problem up. We have a table here with information on whether articles from the New England Journal of Medicine either have statistics or don't have statistics. Since we have three different samples, this is the a test of homogeneity. We want to see if these proportions stay the same across these three samples. Our null hypothesis would be that the proportion of articles using statistics is the same across all three periods. Alternative is that it's not the same. Now we're going to use that null hypothesis to find out what our expected values are. So in our null hypothesis, we're saying the proportions are actually staying the same. Any difference that we're seeing is just the result of natural sampling variation. So if they are the, the same, we would get these expected amounts in each cell. The way we calculate these, okay, for this cell, for example, we would take the whole row total, 144, multiply it by the column total, 332, and divide by the grand total. So we do that for every cell. That's how many people we're supposed to get in each category if these proportions actually are the same. Now, if we compare these two tables, we see that some cells have more than expected. For example, this one, we got 90 when we were only supposed to get 63, right? Some have less than expected. This one, for example, uh, we got 242. We were supposed to get 268. Okay, so those differences are important, and that's what we're going to use to figure out our residuals. However, we also need to keep in mind that these sample sizes are different. This one is 332, this one is 115. So let's say a difference of 20 would be more significant in this group than it would be in this group because the sample size is smaller. 20 out of 115 is a lot larger percentage than 20 out of 332. So the residuals kind of equalize all of that. They're telling us how large are these differences that we're seeing with respect to how big the sample is. Okay, so we couldn't compare a difference of 20 just in these counts. Okay, so a difference of 20 here and a difference of 20 over here which I know that that's not what they are, but if it was that, uh, they would mean different things. But once we have residuals, a residual of one would be the same regardless of what sample it's in. Okay, so when we see these higher residuals mean that they're contributing more of that chi-squared value. If we put this in the test in our calculator, uh, we get a chi-square value of 25.28. That's the sum of the chi-square values for all of the individual cells. So when we see large residuals, it means that this individual cell added a lot to that 25.28. Small residuals, this 0.81, didn't add very much to that 25.28. So all that said, okay, we would look at that uh, residual plot and we see that the number or the proportion really for no stats went from positive, we had more than expected in this group, to less than expected. Okay, so as time moves forward, we're getting less and less than we would expect if these two variables are actually the same. Stats, on the other hand, went in the opposite direction. We started off with less than expected. We only got 242. We were supposed to get 268. But as we move forward, we start to see positive residuals, which means now we're getting more than expected if these two uh, these proportions are all the same. So the way we would write it out, as time moved forward, the proportion of articles without stats is decreasing, indicated by the residuals decreasing from a positive, meaning more than expected if the two variables were independent, or the same really I should use, uh, to a negative, less than would be expected value. Residuals for articles with stats went in the opposite direction, increasing from negative 1.64 to 1.20. This indicates that as time moves forward from 1979 to 2005, there's a higher proportion of articles written with supporting stats.